investigator, Katie Weiss, is now following new details in the investigation surrounding a CBI analyst accused of manipulating DNA tests in hundreds of cases. District attorneys across our state tell Katie they are now working to figure out what cases are impacted and just how much. It's thanks to a cold case here in Douglas County Court that dozens of inmates have received copies of this letter from the DA's office notifying them of potential issues with DNA evidence in their cases. Thank you for doing your part. In 2021, Michael Jefferson was arrested for a murder he allegedly committed more than 30 years ago. The arrest made possible by DNA testing. Technology today that we could utilize from evidence that was collected 36 years ago. But now the legitimacy of that DNA has been called into question following an internal affairs report from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. It alleges one of its star forensic analysts, Yvonne Missy Woods, manipulated and intentionally deleted some DNA results in many cases spanning more than a decade. It's scary to think that these types of errors could have occurred it's also scary to think that they weren't caught by their quality control people. Michael Fay is a defense attorney representing Jefferson. He's been fighting for more information about the DNA debacle at CBI. His work led to the district attorney sending this letter to dozens of inmates, notifying them of anomalies that may affect Woods' credibility in court and that the court authorized additional disclosures in any case where Woods handled, analyzed, or otherwise worked on evidence even in any closed or inactive case. The government's not always so keen on being forthcoming with information like this, and you have to fight to get it. So we're happy that that's now available to other defendants. The DA's office says about 67 cases in Arapahoe and Douglas counties have been impacted so far. A CBI spokesperson says the letter is not unique to those counties, and it is similar to what most DAs statewide are sending to inmates. Have you been hearing from previous clients about, you know, their desire to challenge their cases? I have. I've been contacted by multiple clients from cases as old as 15 years ago. And an attorney for Woods gave us a written statement that says we understand and appreciate the district attorney's obligations to notify defendants of any information that may be exculpatory, whether or not it is. Every criminal defense attorney has an obligation to determine if the issues at CBI should impact each of their clients cases or even change the outcome of any case open or closed. This is especially pertinent given CBI lab management's likely awareness of those issues going back to at least 20 2018. In the meantime, we'll continue to stay on top of any potential impacts stemming from these allegations at CBI and keep you posted as we learn more. Reporting in Castle Rock, I'm Katie Weiss, covering Colorado First. And Katie is your investigator, your reporter, your neighbor in Arapahoe County. If you have an issue you want Katie to look into, just visit our website, send her an email.